What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of F1 2016 Mobile Career Mode and today we have round number 2 of season 6 and we are going to be at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix yes I'm sure you're going to have to get used to this interesting custom calendar I've done we're doing our first full season on the game we started out at Monaco just to spice things up there's some gameplay from that on the screen now as you can see we have finally decided to jump into a Mercedes we're driving as Nico Rosberg this season season um, but yeah this year we did the covid theme calendar last year this year i decided to do a full season and completely randomize the races to an extent what i have actually done is grouped all the european races together followed by the races in the middle east and then the asian races and then finishing off with all the races in the americas at the end of the season so we've grouped the races together by continent back who is next hopefully it'll be more exciting than monaco the cars are set on the grid for what promises to be a thrilling contest here in Baku. Hold on tight then, it's race day for the European Grand Prix. Very close qualifying to say for sure. Hamilton managing to snatch pole away from me by just 24 milliseconds at the end of qualifying. So it was very close on Saturday. Does that mean we'll be seeing our first proper battle with our new teammate today? Who knows? Either way, I'm going to roll the dice and try something different with strategy. We're going to start on the soft tyre. With the only man in the top seven certainly to be starting on the harder tyre. And we're going to see what that brings us. We're going to hopefully do five laps on this tyre. Only five, even though it can go nine. And then go on to two sets of super softs later. Five red lights are out and we're underway for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And that's not the best start. Hamilton's going to maintain the lead into turn one. Although he goes very deep actually on the apex. And just like that we've managed to take the lead. So Hamilton made an error going through turn one. Which meant that he almost hit the wall. I think on the exit and just like that we've been able to capitalize something that I want to quickly talk about going back to setup is I've actually taken quite a bit of downforce extra downforce to make us quicker through the corner so we are going to be quite slow on the straights as we might be about to see now at the end of lap one you can see Hamilton gaining 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 but he's not quite close enough we're just about holding firm what I'm trying to do is not make myself too OP on the straights and I actually want to have decent speed going through the corners so we can pull away just like we have done although I had to lift off for a fraction just to make sure that I didn't completely lose the car it was a slight snap of oversteer at the end of lap two here comes Lewis Hamilton now you can see the proximity arrow Hamilton pulls out he flies past that's what you get if you have minimum downforce however Hamilton has to break earlier as a result of that and we can just sail back around the outside here we go guys I can smell a battle between myself and Lewis Hamilton here on the streets of Baku we've already massively pulled away from Kimi Raikkonen in third and we are just in a league of our own. I'm slightly weaving now to break the slipstream from Hamilton to ensure that he can't have another go at us down towards turn three. But now look at that. P1 of 20. There are 22 drivers on the grid. I've just happened to notice. Oh, we've got a yellow flag. I wonder what this is for near the castle section. I'm going to back off a minute because obviously you cannot overtake anything through here. Okay, it's green flag now. But Hulkenberg's up into P3. And there are now two drivers out of the race. I have no idea what has happened there. But we didn't get a safety car. So that remains a mystery. We're just going to have to find out at the end of the Grand Prix, I guess. But two drivers have retired. Sorry for the lag. I think there was a bit there when I'm editing this. I don't know if that appears in the final cut. Um, but we're going to come into the pits now at the end of lap number five, taking it a bit easier on the pit entry. Hulkenberg's up into P2, and he may well take the lead while we are into the pit lane. So he's managed to get ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Meanwhile, I've actually managed to ditch both of them, as I'm going to come out of the pit lane. I'm going to be in P3 myself. However, don't forget, we've now got two stints on the fastest compound available this weekend. And there goes through Hamilton, just through turn two now. And by the time we get 
through the castle section we've almost caught back up to him so somehow I've managed to pull out a pit stop on my teammate in sort of three laps has Lewis got some sort of car issue I'm not sure but we're gonna try not to hit the back of him Hamilton's gonna go deep I'm gonna get a better exit my tires are a lot fresher we're gonna get up into P2 Hulkenberg's in the lead although I suspect he'll be pulling into the pits at the end of this lap Hamilton will be staying out I have taken a bit of wing off the car to make myself a little bit quicker on the straight and we are now gonna go for a proper push lap a proper fastest lap attempt so we are going to go for a time lapse around the Baku Street Circuit as we retake the lead. So I seem to have very good pace here. I'm already leaving Hamilton for dust. And yeah, the idea of this lap is to just try and make a statement to Lewis, to my rivals, and therefore just making sure that we can secure the fastest lap. We've got the yellow flag thing again through the castle section. That turns out that was bugged. That happens every lap for the rest of the Grand Prix. So I don't know why. We were nearly a second up in the first sector. We're nearly seven tenths up in the middle sector. What a lap this has been, ladies and gents, as we cut back to the original speed. And it's a 1.39.4. We were nearly over half a second quicker in the final sector as well. Bottas now in third. Um, and yeah, I think that was about three or four seconds quicker than my previous PB lap. But now look at this. The AI is stuck on the pit exit. And then... They have despawned. What on earth? Have I just solved the mystery of the Baku glitch cars disappearing? Because look, there's dots just randomly on the minimap there. We can see on the left hand side to me now, there's like three little dots. Are they cars? Like, are they supposed to be cars? I don't know. That is so, so weird. We know Baku's the glitchiest circuit on the game. I'm going to pit now anyway. However, that is extremely bizarre. We've now got Spaniards, second and third on the podium. Science ahead of Alonso. So, Lord knows what's happened to Lewis Hamilton. It seems cruel to say it, but that's all the better for me, despite not good for the team, because he's going to be my main championship rival. Two Under 2.1 second pit stop. That might be the best pit stop I've ever had. I don't know. I've taken even more wing off the car because I want to try and see if I can beat my own fastest lap. Just to make another statement out there. Uh, and who's this going slowly? Who's managed to make it all the way around here without despawning? Is that a house? Is that Grosjean? It is Grosjean. And he's in seventh. And what's going to happen to him now? Pop. And he's disappeared. It's like magic. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is weird. I've, I've seen all of the cars disappear off the track before. But I've never caught them red-handed despawning, and that's what we're doing now. As we were nearly two tenths quicker in the final sector, and we're going to ride on board for this entire lap. As there is still Grosjean, I don't know what's happened to him. I hit the wall, we've slowed down, because there's a Ferrari, gone. Just like that. I just wanted to zoom in on that for you guys. Uh, was that Sebastian Vettel? I don't know. If he is, he's in third place, so well done to him. He might be about to get... A podium in this season just like he did at Monaco that would be back to back third places I would nearly went too deep there I was very very late on the brakes but the bravery pants on as we are going through this very twisty technical first sector which is a lot harder than it looks given the fact that I'm running such low downforce now after the second pit stop but it's all the better because we'll get so much better traction acceleration out of corners and of course that mega long pit straight we're just going to be so OP we are unfortunately a tenth down in the first sector so however I'm still pretty confident that we can make that up throughout the rest of the lap particularly through the final sector which is largely taken flat out so all is not lost, we can still get this lap, the time to beat is a 139.435 as we are now heading towards what I think is the toughest corner on the track, it's very very easy to misjudge your braking point, especially with low downforce, although we absolutely seem to nail that as we are now coming down to what is the final, final corner, nearly 6 tenths up in the middle sector, so there you go, we are looking like we are going to be ahead of target to beat this lap now. These two are technically the final corners because the rest of it is just flat out all the way to the finish line. Here we come. We can now just watch and wait and see what the lap is going to be. Science is still holding P2. We're about to start the final lap of the race. So it looks like the Toro Rosso driver is going to get an epic podium as we improve to a 138.643. That was nearly eight tenths quicker. There's Vettel in the wall. 
Deary me, and is this a Haas? There's still Grosjean, so he still managed to not despawn yet. Congratulations to him. That was very, very, very too late. <laughs> um, but yeah, this might have been the easiest win of my entire time playing this game, to be honest. As you've seen, you know, I almost pretty much stopped. In fact, I reversed at one point to see the AID spawn in the form of Verline and Ericsson. So, yeah, we're going to make it two from two in a Mercedes as we are going to take the chequered flag first and we are going to win the Azerbaijan Grand Prix in very convincing fashion and stamp our authority on this championship. Two from two, 100%. There's the results from Baku, we won by a minute and 19 seconds, head of Sainz, brilliant podium for the Spanish driver, then it was Vettel and Raikkonen, 3-4 for Ferrari, 5-6 for McLaren, Alonso and Button, Lewis Hamilton only 7th, he was the only driver anywhere near to my lap time, he was a 42-9, so he was miles behind me still. It was the two Brazilians who retired the race, Nazar and Massa, yes it is very easy to get them confused, especially when their first name is still both Felipe. They were like in the 155, so they were like 17 seconds a lap slower than me was Felipe Massa. Ouch. The Red Bulls were on Jupiter again. We know they quite often fall down the order. So there you go. After two races, we've got a 20-point lead in the championship. Vettel, who's had two successive third places, he jumps ahead of Lewis Hamilton with a very poor finishing from him today. Then it's Raikkonen in fourth. Sainz jumps straight into fifth, his first points of the season in lap P2. Verstappen still sixth after his P4 in Monaco. Then it's Button and Alonso in the constructors. We're already 24 points clear of Ferrari. Red Bull under pressure from McLaren now for third never thought i'd be saying that however every team has already scored points except mana and reno and that's it for today's video guys if you enjoyed please be sure to like share and subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram or join my discord server both links are in the description below and i'll see you guys all next time goodbye